Welcome to the Tong Nhat Stadium here in Vietnam for our second game of the day in Group H as Hong and Gia live from Vietnam take on John Bok Hyundai Motors from the Korea Republic. And an important game for the Koreans, important game for the Vietnamese actually because they've only got a point so far, we'll see the table in just a sec, but vital if they want to try and keep their season alive that they can pick up the points here today. Confirmation that Yokohama went top of the table a little bit earlier on with their victory over Sydney, so they sit on nine points. John Buck Motors on seven. Sydney and Hoang at the moment bringing up the rear, um, so they need to get some points. But the top two, you would feel, were always the favourites to go through from this group. And we'll see how they fare today. John Buck would go back to the top of the table, as you saw, with a, with a victory today. 27 degrees. Very pleasant here. Hot for the players, obviously. Lots of changes made by both teams as well as they rotate their squads. Huang are back in their blue kit today. Good supporting for them as well. They've been well supported during this uh, tournament here, as you would expect. Their supporters hoping that they can turn their good play into goals today. They have performed exceptionally well, to be honest, through the group stages, but they haven't really had the luck in front of goal that they probably feel they deserve. So Gustavo will be up front for them today. They scored that late, late goal in there. Last game, John Book, 93rd minute to beat the Vietnamese, the first time they played three days ago. Two wins and a draw so far for John Book. Kim Sang Sik is their coach. Kiati Suk Senamuang, the coach for Huang An Gia Lai. John Buck based in the North Juela province. Their home is the, uh, the John Jew World Cup Stadium. Match officials there just waiting to bring the teams out. Shukri Hassan Al Hunfish from Saudi Arabia is the referee. Just two games to go after today in the group stages. John Book have won the AFC Champions League on two occasions. First in 2006. Second in 2011. Korea are the most successful team in the history of this competition. 12 wins for... Korea ahead of Japan on seven. Huang qualified by being top of the V-League in the 2021 season. The league was cancelled due to COVID. They'd only played 12 games. They won nine of those. They were in a really good run and rich vein of form at the start of that season. But the COVID pandemic put pay to them winning the title as such. But their league position meant that they qualified as the Vietnamese representatives for this year's competition. So just a point so far for Hoang, a draw with Sydney. 
They've only scored twice. One of those was an own goal from Kida, the Yokohama Reno's captain in the opening game of 2-1 defeat. Vu Van Tan is the only man who's found the net from the Vietnamese side so far. It's 41st edition of the AFC Champions League. Because it has been the Asian Club Championship previously before it changed to AFC Champions League. Following the, uh, the format that goes around the world now with the group stages rather than the home and away fixtures. We will have the home and away in the knockout stages in the round of 16 for the eastern section, which will be in August. The western section will have to wait until next February to play their round of 16 quarterfinals and semi-final matches. The final on the 19th of February, 2023. And then the competition will start later in the year with the group stages this side of Christmas 2023 and the knockout stages in 2024, the moving of the tournament just over in the gradual stages. Both coaches have been able to uh, shuffle their squads. They haven't made too many changes, Swang. John Buck have made quite a few changes today. They're in that uh, good position in the group, of course, so can afford to do that. We're looking at the teams, Huang An Jialai, their coach, head coach, Kiatisuk Senemuang, the man from Thailand. Two changes today. Into the side come Truong and Ming Vuong. So a third period for Wing Vuong and a first start for Truong, who's appeared three times off the bench in the first three matches. So he gets a start today so our match officials well, the referee from Saudi Arabia Tuan Lin is the goalkeeper for Huang final few words from the coach Vu Van Tan the man who scored their goal so far he's also in the starting lineup today he's uh, got the captain's armband on and his opposite number is Hong John Ho for John Buck. Well, their side shows a number of changes. Seven changes in total. The only players that survived from the last game are Jin Sub, Moon Huan, Jin Su, and Jong Ho, the captain. So, four survivors from the last match against Hoang. They played just three days ago. So it's a 93rd minute winner for John Buck. Sion Min got the goal on that occasion. He came off the bench, came out after 59 minutes, scored in stoppage time. He gets a start. Madhu Baru among their subs today. Jefferson Bayano on the bench for Huang. We've seen him in most of the games so far, either as a starter or as a substitute. He's a great striker in his day. Kiatisuk Senemuang, 18-year career, 251 goals in over 300 appearances. 131 appearances for Thailand. And now the man in charge of the Vietnamese. Trying to see if he can mastermind their first win today against John Buck Motors. It would certainly help the other two teams in the group if they could do that today. will be John Buck to get us underway so John Buck motors all in white kicking from left to right in the first half straight away on the attack, but that one will come to nothing. Kurimoto has uh, looked lively in the games that he's played. So Gustavo will be the 
Central striker today. Kieti Six set him away. Hoping that his side can come up with a win today. They desperately need one. by Dong Su. Both sides going with a three at the back. Kim Dong Su has been ever present so far. He's started all four games. But the back four has been constant for Huang with Maurizio and Hu Tan. Dong Su. Jong Ho. Now Moon Huan. Moving the ball down the line, but out of play, just too much on that for. The chasing Quan. That was Brandao's header going back towards his own goal. Can't be kept in by Fong Doi. Gone out of Kia Wan. Brandao. High foot up by Washington Brandau. Jin Su. Driven in, good ball nodded back by Kyo Wan. And Sun Min fires over. First chance of the game falling John Buck's way. Gustavo was involved. And Son Min, who scored the goal in the last game, couldn't get his foot over that one. And they're not going high over the top. Positive start for John Buck. Well kept in by Van Toon. Fong Doi. Ming Vuong. Goes out of playoff. Sion Min. Washington, Brandau, Kong Fuang. He's looking for Van Tan, but again, it's a, a misplaced pass. That's one thing that's beset them really throughout their, their game so far, misplaced passes that have... It's gone astray when they've been in good positions. Jong Ho. Moon Huan. Free kick given away by Trong. Jong Ho. Away by Jung Ho. Van Tone has 
caused defences some problems without finding the back of the net so far. He's a busy character. If they can find the ball to him, he loves to run at defenders. He could be a good outlet for HAGL today. Fong Doi. Kong Fu Wang. Headers lacking the power, he's aimed back towards Boom Kun. Sion Min. Nagastavo. Dong Su. Just got across to block his way to goal. Long ball over the top, looking for Q1. Now to play. Third appearance in the Champions League for HHEL. Group stages in 2004. 2005, they were also in the group stages, finished bottom of the group, so it's a first appearance for, for quite some time for the Vietnamese. That's Gustavo. Shot from a long way out, goes wide of the target from Jin Su. There's a bit of confidence about in this John Buck team, they're not afraid to shoot from distance. Jin Su got uh, Jong Ho, rather, got the job of marking uh, Brandao. Throwing to John Buck. Cody Boto. He's won a corner. Been in charge of HHEL for two years now. Kiatasuk Senamuang. And he's side have got some defending to do here from the corner. There's some height in there for John Buck. Gustavo just lurking, doesn't miss out the first man, though, comes out here to Kunimoto. Away by Brandau. Boom Kun is a long way out of his goal. So they were the first side from East Asia to win the AFC Champions League when it was launched in its current form. Won that one in uh, Homs in Syria.
reached the semi-finals a couple of times as well. They were beaten by Al Ittihad from Saudi Arabia in 2004. Tal Karama from Syria in the final in 2006. Moon Juan. Kunimoto. It's given away to Ming Vuong. Chase on here for Brandao. Should be comfortable for Bok Young just to tidy up and play it back to his goalkeeper. Maurizio trying to shepherd the ball out. I think it has just flicked off the defender there, so it will be a, another corner. Kim Sang Sik is the John Buck coach. It'll be in charge coming up to a year and a half now after replacing Jose Moraes in December 2020. Second corner of the game. Better one this time. It's gone for another corner. Only needed a touch in front of goal. The defender just got in there. Son Min, I think, may have got a little bit on that. I'm not too sure who got that away. Maybe Dong Su. It'll give uh, Kunimoto the chance to swing over another corner. to the near post, pushed away by Tuan Lin. That might have been going in. Kunimoto looking to get himself an Olympic goal. Good, good bend on that. All the way across and... Header from Maurizio this time. Jinsu. Moon Huan. Still goalless then, coming up to 14 minutes played. Fong Doi with the throw. Jin Sub. Long ball over the top for Gustavo. Just guided that onto Kyo Wan. We're trying to go down the outside. Hu Tan came across and. That will be a free kick. Jungbuk have enjoyed the best possession so far. They've got a, another free kick here. Kunimoto 
We'll take this one. Plenty of players looking to attack this one in the middle. Plenty of movements in there as well. He's going to uh, short this time, Kunimoto. Maybe a better chance to cross now. Well, the flag stays down, and Dong Su heads over his own bar, and he had to as well because Gustavo was right behind him. It was a well-worked free kick in the end. It looked as though they might have messed it up, John Buck, but when that ball came back in again and it was headed across the goal, it was Dong Su that had to intervene. Gustavo might just have strayed offside, but the, the flag stayed down and Dong Su completed the clearance. In swinging corner! And the faintest of touches puts John Buck in front. And it's Sion Min who scored the winner in the last game, who gets a heady goal from a corner this time. And he's put his side in front. Well, the pressure had been coming, and the set pieces have finally paid dividends. Sion Min gets his second goal of the group stages. And he's done it from the start this time. Came off the bench in the last match. He's not the tallest player on the pitch, but he got in front of Maurizio and headed home to give John Buck the lead. Just goes to show if you put a good corner into the box, into the danger area, keep it away from the goalkeeper. Often a goal can result. And another one to tick off for Moon Sun Min. Seventeen minutes gone. Well, here come Huang immediately trying to get back. Ming Vuo. Gone high over the top with that. So Wynn would put John Buck back on top of the table by a point. They play Yokohama in their final game. That could be the game that decides the team that's going through as group winners. They've still got uh, Sydney to play before that. Sydney haven't won a game as yet, so they'll fancy their chances against Sydney. Fong Doi. Same to Ming Fuang, another shot goes over the top from Chirong this time. Well, they're shooting from a long way out, they haven't tested Boom Kun yet. Just the second shot that they've managed on goal. Moon Juan. Sun Ji. Down the line looking for Kyo Wan. Dong Su comes across to make the clearance. Moon Huan. New Twan got the, the final touch on that one. Sion Min. Back to Moon Huan. Ball's just rolled out of play. Ming Vuong was looking to try and take a quick throw. There wasn't too much on for him, though.
ninth place in the V League at the moment for Huang. They haven't won a game in their opening four matches. John Booker currently fourth in the K League. Good ball from Truong this time. It's Van Vu Van Tan, the captain, to try and run at Kunimoto. Early ball in. And the header from Ming Vuong goes wide. It took a deflection on its way out, though, so it will be a corner for HAGL. Probably their best move of the game so far, Van Tan getting the ball in. And it was good defending in the end by Moon Huan to just do enough to get in front of Ming Vuong. Coach will be a little bit more pleased with that forward play. So they've only scored the one goal so far, Vu Van Tan with the goal. Kida's own goal is the only other time they've found the net against Yokohama. Drew a blank against John Buck in the last match. In swinging corner, nobody attacked it. It was away by Jong Ho. Gustavo. Chase on here for Sion Min. He's got to kill one through the middle. That's a good challenge, though. It's a foul by Kong Fu Wang. I think he just left the foot in for Kong Fu Wang. Calm down is the, the message from the referee. Seemed to be a 50-50 ball. Just ran away from Sion Min. It was a good challenge by Hu Tan. That was the foul there. Just left that foot hanging in. Pleading his innocence, Kong Fu Wang. Did play for Mito Hollyhock in Japan. Also had a couple of loans with Inchen and St. Truden in Belgium. Nguyen Kong Fuang. Allowed to run by Kyo Won. Good tackle again, Fuang Doi. They're getting some good tackles in HAGL at the moment. They're managing to stop John, but getting to the dangerous positions. Good ball again to Van Tan. He's a useful outlet, the captain. Let that one go early. Back to Boom Kunin, goal. Moon Juan. Jin Sub. Kunimoto. Lost to Olsen Hyundai in the quarterfinals last year, John Buck. Korean affair. Sun Min. Kunimoto. Didn't make it past the group stage the previous year, 2020, so. They'll be keen to try and go through as one of those top two places, John Buck. Got themselves seen front here, Sun Min's early header after 17 minutes. That's Brandao's header. Dong Su. Brandao couldn't bring it down under control. Sion Min, Gustavo with him, might not need him. Got help arriving now from Kunamoto. He's just overrun it. It's a 
good run initially by Sun Min. Kunamoto, though, just taking the ball on and not quite getting it right. Trong. Brandau. Fong Doi. Bit of space here for Van Toon. No control, though. Allows the ball back again. Gustavo using his pace and power to try and get beyond Hutan, but he's done well, the defender. Trong. Fong Doi. Dong Su. Trong. Good ball over the top, looking for the run of Van Tone. And Bumkun has to make his first save of any great notes. Well, Van Tone is such a busy little player when he gets going. He's been at HHEL all his career, timed his run to perfection then. Over 150 appearances now, he's got that experience. He's only 26, but he's played 156 times in the V League. Played six matches in the Suzuki Cup for Vietnam before Christmas. Kunimoto. Offside flag. Goes up. Dongsu. Fong Doi. Trong. Brand out. Good ball through. The flag stays down. In fact, the flag has gone up now. It's a very late flag on the far side. You can see Brandau's reaction. The ball hasn't gone in anyway. But a late, late flag. I think he was just offside when the ball was played through. It just took the linesman a few seconds to compute that. Good save, though, by Bumkun. Just the one shot on target so far in the match, and that was the one from Sun Min that's put his side in front. <laughs> 15 minutes to go to half-time. John Buck leading by a goal to nil against HAGL. Dongsu. Fong Doi. Van Toon. Ming Vuong. It's the shot in and way over the top.
Huang have got Yokohama to come in their next match, and then Sydney as they try to get their first win of the group stages. Moon Huan. Jong Ho. Wasted ball over the top again. It'll be easy for Twan Lin to gather. Only failed to score once. John Buck, that was the opening game they drew. They were held to a goalless draw by Sydney. Here's uh, Van Tone in round the back again. Brandao makes ground into the middle. Pulled back for Kong Fu Wong, but once again it goes high over the top. Just that lack of composure again in front of goal. Lovely ball in behind. That's where he excels, Van Tone, playing off the shoulder of the defenders. He's very quick. Kong Fu Wong didn't set himself at all for the shot. It's a foul by Van Toon. Just a little overzealous to win the ball back. Jong Ho. Moon Juan. Gustavo. Team from Brando. <laughs> Fong Doi. Van Tan. Hong pushes it out wide towards Van Tone again. Kunimoto. Ming Vuong.
Van Tan. Brandao in on goal, pushed away by Boom Kun, didn't quite have the bend on it. Goes down as a shot on target from Washington Brandau. Brandau can't quite keep that one in play. There's the shot again. It's a fairly tame one in a way. Hit the shot on the run. It was a fairly difficult technique to do. Gustavo. It's well won back. Into the path of Ming Vuong. Shot blocked in front of him before he could uh, get it away. Washington brand out. Trong. I still can't find a way through. It's a good header from Jin Sub. Through towards Van Tan. And then a foul against the HAGL captain. That ball over the top. They've seen plenty of the ball now, HAGL. They're finally getting a, a bit of possession in the final third, but they have tested Bum Kion a couple of times, but nothing that's really threatened for a goal yet. Moon Juan. Gi that's just gone down after taking a little bit of a knock.
Jin Su. Now Jong Ho. Final few minutes of the first half. Still that early goal from Sion Min. Separating the two sides at the moment. It's the goal that puts John Buck to the back to the top of the group. It's well cut out by Van Tan, who read it well. Sion Gi. Maurizio. Sion Gi. Sion Min. It's a bit of space here for Moon Juan. Good running by Gustavo. It's a goal kick. I thought that'd go off Gustavo right in front of the assistant referee. Just popped up off Hu Tan. Brandau almost got in the end of that one. Another shot comes here, which was blocked. Jin Sub. One ball over the top is a chance here for Xion Min. Can't get the ball out of his feet. It was uh, actually Kwon, Kyo Wan, sorry, that was uh, trying to get the shot in. He was onside, played on by Dong Su. Just wouldn't sit down for him though, and Dong Su got across to make a, a good challenge. Jin Sub. Now Moon Huan. Well, there goes the. Half-time whistle, and usually there's no added time at the end of the first half. Don't see that too often these days, but the referee brings it to a close. It was a hard-working performance by HHEL. Van Toon was their more lively player in that first half, but the only goal scored by Sion Min after 17 minutes a header from a well-taken corner from Kunimoto. And that's the goal that separates the sides here at half-time. Work to do for HAGL as they have in all their games so far. John Buck will need another goal, they feel, because the Vietnamese will come out at them in the second half. But for now, they've managed to get themselves in front and are going back top of the group if it stays this way. Half time, Huang and Gialai, what nil? John Buck, Hyundai Motors won.
Welcome back to the Tongat Stadium in Vietnam. Ho Chi Minh City. John Book Motors just making their way back out onto the pitch for the second half. It looks as though they're making a change. It appears Modo Barrow, Modo Barrow, sorry, is coming on the former Reading striker. John Book leading by a goal to nil. In the first half, Sion Min's header after 17 minutes, the difference between the two teams. There's the man who scored the goal. Scored in the last two matches against HAGL. In 93rd minute when they met three days ago, it was the only goal of the game. And it was an important one as well because it secured the three points for John Buck. And three points tonight, as we've mentioned, if they get that, they'll go back to the top of the table. HAGL worked hard in that first half. Van Toon and Van Tan are their two most creative players, you would feel, but they haven't really found their range in front of goal and they'll need to do that in the second half. Is Modo Barra. We'll confirm who's gone off in a moment. Vu Van Tan is the captain for HAGL, the only HAGL player to find the net so far in that 1 1 draw with Sydney. Washington Brandau will get us underway. He had the only shot on target for HAGL in that first half. A, a fairly tame effort, it has to be said, that was comfortably saved by Boom Kun in the jumbo goal. John Buck themselves only had one effort on target. That was the Sion Min header that put them in front. Looks like there's a, at least another change as well. Jing Yu has come on, so we'll uh, update you on those in a moment. Jin Su. Kunimoto plays it back inside. Maurizio. That goes out off Kunimoto. It'll be a HAGL throw. Maurizio. Vu Van Tan. Cleared away by Tuan Lin. So it is a triple change at half time. Jin Q. 
Bo Kyung and Barrow are the three players that have come on. Good ball in, in round the back is Van Tone and can't get a touch. It's a great ball in, one of the better balls we've seen. Lovely ball, perfectly weighted over the top of Van Tone at full stretch, couldn't get a touch. Promising signs though for HHEL in the, the uh, start of the second half. So, just to confirm, Jing Yu Barrow are both on, as is Bok Young. Goalkeeper's come a long way out here. It was a Bok Young. In by Jin Su. Sion Min. Trying to get round the back. Good save, pair of hands by the goalkeeper. Van Tan oh, went for the curler, but got his bearings all wrong. Bit of a problem for Jin Su, though. I don't know if you just took out a stray arm to the face or something, but just... Uh, Feeling his head a touch there. Back by Barrow. Jin Su. Sion Min, heavy touch allows. Dong Su to get a foot in. Maurizio's ball hits Hu Tan. Kunimoto bundled over by. Vu Van Tan. Bok Young. Two Bok Youngs in at the moment, Kim Bok Young and Choi Bok Young. Take by the goalkeeper. Van Toon. Trong. Gets it back from Ming for one. Looking for the run of uh, trying to flee that one through to Brandau, but not quite enough on it.
Kunimoto. Barrow, who's started in a wide position. Shot block just in front. He's um, an experienced man, Motto Barrow. Spent his early years in Sweden. So he was at Reading. Scored 14 goals in 77 appearances in the EFL. Loans at Nottingham Forest, Blackburn, Leeds. And it's a bit like uh, the other substitute that came on as well, Kimbo Kyung. You may remember him from playing at Cardiff City and Wigan. As well as uh, Shannon Belmar, Matsumoto, Yamagawa and Kashiwa Reisol. There's a challenge on the edge of the area, there's claiming handball. The referee said it's no foul anyway. A big appeals from the home supporters for a penalty, but John Kyo reaction said that it was a handball anyway by I mean Van Tone that went down. Well, they're making a change. It's going to be Truong who'd started the match that comes off. And coming on is who folk who came on in the last game 87th minute in the last game so he's getting a little bit longer to try and prove himself today With a good ball in towards Brandao, couldn't quite get up high enough. Fong Doi. Real tussle on the edge of the area. It'll uh, run free to Moon Huan, who should be able to get this one away. Free kick to. H A G L. Move walk into the corner. Maurizio, Dong Su, forward pass was cut out but being picked up again by HAGL, over the top looking for Brandau just held up slightly but boom couldn't, and he's able to uh, get there and gather. Bokyung. Now Jin Su.
Wang have got that uh, partnership with final that we've mentioned a couple of times to develop the talent and coaching between the two sides. Uh, sign of a lot of clubs do these days. Identifying talent and sending them to Europe, particularly for the Asian clubs to get some experience. Barrow. Not too sure who got the final touch. He's claiming it's a corner. Hu Tan straight away was appealing for the goal kick. Away by Bumkun. Seen much more of the ball in the second half, HAGL. Who Haku's just come on as uh, already proved he's got a little bit of pace about him. Foot in from Ming Vuong. Kunimoto. Not really getting through John Buck here. They've only got that slender lead. Sion Min's goal after 17 minutes is the difference from the header. Van Tan. Van Tone. Maurizio. Just blocked off Van Tan. Thought he'd uh, been fouled, but just a goal kick. John Buck have won the K League a record eight times. And they've all come in the last 13 years as well. Here's a uh, Another chance for HHEL to try and put some pressure on the Koreans' defence, but they've stood firm so far. So those changes have just reinforced things through midfield in the second half. It's a very clever man, Kim sang -sik, uses his substitutions well. Here's a chance once again, though, going through. Oh, brilliant! they finally got on the score sheet. Great finish. It looked as though the challenge was going to come, but you can see what it means to them. Van Tone, I think he was, that went through. His endeavours have been a standout so far for HAGL. He plays off the shoulder, he kept his run on side, and that is quality. If anything, it's just flicked off the captain, Jong Ho, on its way in as well. Lovely through ball from Hu Tan. And take nothing away from that finish, and he's deserved a goal. Noyen Van Tone, the one club man. Gets his side back on level terms, and we said one goal wouldn't be enough for John Book, and they've proved that, and you feel now they could go on and win this. H-A-G-L, sheer delight. Great finish. It's 1-1. So John Buck will need to regroup. And we may have put the curse on him saying that those changes at half-time are just strengthening things up through midfield. We weren't expecting a quality ball like that from Hu Tan through the defence. 
And that, that what happens when you have that little bit of quality about you. I think that's gone out of Jin Su. It's a bit of a mistake because it flicked off him and he didn't seem to register the fact that he touched the ball. It will be a corner for HAGL. You can hear it to the atmosphere now what it's done inside the stadium. Fong Doi with the corner. That's a header from Washington Brandau, which he'll be disappointed with. Ball, Van Tone. Oh, just can't quite keep it in play. Just got it caught under his feet. A goal scorer. Long ball from Kunimoto looking for Barrow, but not going to find its way to its intended target. Jin Su. Jin Gyu. Barrow. Over hits the cross, Barrow might come here to Kunimoto. Comes right the way across looking for Barrow, but the goalkeeper quickly down. Goes on the ball, Twan Lin. Jingyu. Kunimoto gives away the free kick on the edge of the area. Point wouldn't be good enough to take Jumbo back to the top.
two points the difference at the moment between them and Yokohama, who won their game earlier on. Kunimoto. Well, that's a late challenge. That's going to be the first yellow card. You could see that he was just going to leave his foot in there. It was Hugh Foot, the substitute. Moon Huang goes off. And Yu Hyun is the player that's come on. Bokyung got a yellow card for the challenge on the substitute. Good play from Xion Min, just trying to wriggle his way through. Went for the shot as well, it came back off the shins of Hu Tan. Brandao. There will be a corner. 1-1. One, one. If HAGL could get themselves in front, that would be a huge boost for Kiata Suksenamuang's side. Incentive would be for the winners. Well, it would lift them off the foot of the table. Take them above Sydney, who drew early, who uh, were beaten earlier. In swinging corner, not a great one, headed away by Kunamoto. Ball over the top.
given away by Tuan Lin. So these sides will play again in uh, three days' time. As we said, HHE will take on Yokohama. Here's uh, Van Tan trying to burst through. The angle wasn't really there for the shot. Uh, John Buck will play Sydney in their next match, and then that big one at the end against Yokohama Marinos, which could well determine the fate of the top spot in the group. It's a little trip. I think that's going to be another yellow card for Yu Hyun. So, Bo Kyung and both Yu Han are into the book. Good ball in, Dong Su. Well, he made a good contact, but he didn't quite make it good enough because that was a chance. And he knows it. What a chance that was for HAGL to take the lead. He was onside. And he tried to sweep it, and he swept it wide. So it will be a corner. Good ball across again, some last ditch defending gets that away from danger. Good ball in again towards the goalkeeper, Bum Kyun, who had to be sure with that one. He was under a lot of pressure then from Dong Su. Great strike again. Brando wanted it played into feet. But it's another shot that's gone flashing wide from Van Toon, the man who scored the goal. Kunimoto, he's just taking a, a bit of a whack. Thirteen minutes to go. One one. Jin Xiong is the final substitute for John Buck.
Well, John Book didn't expect to be in this situation. That's uh, Sion Min brought down, the man who scored the opening goal after 17 minutes for them. Just fouled by Maurizio. In by Jin Song. Sion Min. It's better from John Book. Barrow goes one way, just creates a little bit of space. Overlap here from Yu Hyun. Try to get it back to Sion Min. Out is the shout that's coming from the HAGL bench. Sion Min. Oh, it's a good run. He's got away from uh, um, Brandao, sorry. And plucked out of the air by Tian Lin. Jin Su. Sion Min just seems to have had a, a bit of a second wind over the last few minutes. That saved high over Gustavo, who turns away in. Change for HAGL coming up. It's going to be Washington Brandao that's going off. And Din Lam comes on for a first appearance in the group stage. A player who started his career here, had a loan at Huang Vuong and Glang. Made just one substitute appearance so far for HAG on the 22-year-old, but he gets on for the first time in the group. Van Toon, wriggling his way through, challenged on the edge of the area again. The referee wags his finger and says no foul. Bok Young it was with a challenge. <laughs> Jin Sung. Sion Min, that'll be a corner, that's gone off the shins of Ming Vuong. Mussolin <laughs> swinging towards Tuan Lin's goal. We'll just have to wait for a moment. Referee is uh, 
Stamp his authority on that. There's always the pushing and shoving that goes on. Some feel they should just let the corner be taken and then give the foul as the referee sees fit. Into the near post. The referee has spotted a free kick. It was uh, Twan Lin who had to keep one out in the first half from Kunimoto, who went for a, an Olympic goal. Might be just taking a knock to the top of his leg there, so we need a bit of treatment before we can continue. Fantone just having a, a word with his coach, Kiata Suksenamuang. You could see what it meant to them when they scored that goal. Brilliant finish into the top corner. Still a bit of treatment here for Tuan Lin. Hey, Jumbuk have made all five substitutions, but HHEL have only made a couple at the moment, so they have another available if they need to change the goalkeeper. He's played every minute of the group stages so far. Hyun Tuan Lin, second season here at HHEL. Some of the groups in the eastern section are looking very close at the moment. Some of these are going to go right down to the wire to the, the final games. As the sides in the, the western section have only got one more game to play. Already through to the next stage of the competition. Al Halal, the defending champions. Al Shabab. Al De Hale doing what the Qatar sides couldn't do last season and booking a place in the next stage. But all the groups in the eastern section are fairly tight at the moment. Still got two games to play, of course. After today and after this round of matches. Filed by Jing Yu, it's Din, Lim, Din Lam, the substitute that is injured now. Tuan Lin under pressure from Barrow, just about managed to get the ball away in time. Offside against Jin Sung. Still 1-1 one, one then, three minutes to go, plus uh, stoppage time. There wasn't a huge amount of stoppage time in the first half. In fact, there was no stoppage time in the first half. There will be a little to add in the second because of the substitutions, but HHEL are just edging towards a second point. They drew with Sydney, lost to Yokohama and John Buck last time out. This will be points dropped for the Koreans who would have been hopeful of going back to the top of the table. Sion Min. There's a late goal with the sides met three days ago. Are we to get a late goal from either of these teams? John but pressing nicely played off by Barrow. It's Sion Min, surely not for a second time running, but the shot goes over the top this time.
It's the man whose goal level things up, Van Toon. Dong Su. Van Toon. Kong Fuang. Slightly lucky deflection there off Bo Kiong. That's a foul on Van Tan, which is going to give a free kick in a dangerous position here as we head towards stoppage time. Foul by Jin Song, three minutes added time to be played. Heavy challenge on Vu Van Tan, he might need a bit of treatment here. What can they do from the free kick? It'll be swung in by Kong Fuang. Dong Su just been uh, to go footage to see him in the middle there, had that chance not so long ago. Maurizio. There's another challenge on the edge of the area, which is good and punished. Dong Su. Back out to Vu Van Tan. Still going. Shot hit his own player who. Folk who was in front of him, Dong Su, Van Toon. Now tried a back heel, but hasn't come off for him, and well, that should relieve the pressure for John Buck. Din Lam. Back to Tuan Lin to try and... Well, should have put some distance on it. He's cleared it straight out of play for a throw, which is disappointing. Vu Van Tan's gone down again, having received that knock just a moment or so ago. So Van Toon comes off and Jefferson Baiano, the Brazilian, comes on just to add a bit of muscle into the final third for the last few seconds of the game. I don't think he's going to have much time to have an impact here. Might have to go and do some defensive work. Just pushed away by Tuan Lin, Sion Min. Lifted back in again, it's too high for Gustavo. Now there might be a break on, Bayano. Good header once it, he played back early, Bayano is racing through the middle. It's Din Lam, that's just held things up slightly, goes down on the edge of the area under challenge. Bayano wanted that played straight back, he was sprinting to get beyond the defender as the full-time whistle goes. Well, what an entertaining game, it's another point for HAGL. And you can see, it feels like a win to them. Van Tone there got the equaliser. It was Sion Min who put John Book in front in the first half after 17 minutes, the man who scored the winner in the 93rd minute when they met three days ago. But unlike that, there's to be no win today, and HAGL will go into their final two games with a little bit of confidence in the hope that they can get as many points as possible. They're not going to go through to the round of 16, but they know that 
They have drawn a little bit of confidence from that today, stopping John Buck in their tracks. The Koreans did make plenty of changes. Fairly settled side for Kiati Suk Sinemuang. But Van Toon, who has worked tirelessly throughout the four matches so far, finally can celebrate a goal in the AFC Champions League. And it's a goal that rescued a point for his side. Full time, it's finished. Hang and Huang and Gia Lai won. John Buck Hyundai Motors won.